Hello everyone, and a warm welcome to my channel, especially to all the Sea of Thieves fans and history enthusiasts out there. Today I've got an incredibly fascinating story for you. We're diving into the tale of HMS Trincomalee, a ship with a rich history that's now a star attraction at the Hartlepool Navy Museum. This magnificent vessel was built in India and launched in 1817, making it one of the oldest Royal Navy ships still afloat. For those of you who have watched the documentary Sea of Thieves Voyage of a Lifetime by Rare, you might recognize HMS Trincomalee. The ship makes a notable appearance in the documentary, connecting the virtual adventures of Sea of Thieves with real-world maritime history. I've always wanted to visit HMS Trincomalee, and when I saw that Rare filmed their documentary on its deck, it became a must-see for me. I couldn't wait to explore the ship and share some fascinating stories about Hartlepool along the way. HMS Trincomalee, launched in 1817, is one of the oldest surviving Royal Navy frigates. Built in Bombay, now Mumbai, India, she is a Leda-class sailing frigate, constructed from teak wood, which has contributed to her longevity. During her active service, HMS Trincomalee played a variety of roles, including patrolling the waters of the West Indies, South America, and the Pacific. She was involved in anti-slavery patrols, protecting British interests, and showing the flag in distant parts of the world. After her decommissioning in 1897, the ship had several different uses, including serving as a training vessel named Foudroyant. Following extensive restoration work, she is now a prominent exhibit at the Hartlepool Maritime Experience, allowing visitors to step back in time and experience naval life from the 19th century. HMS Trincomalee's storied past and well-preserved condition make her a significant piece of maritime history offering a tangible connection to the Royal Navy's illustrious heritage. The tale of the Hartlepool Monkey Hangers is a legendary story from the Napoleonic Wars, which took place in the early 19th century. It's a mix of folklore and humour that has become an integral part of the town of Hartlepool's identity in northeastern England. Here's the full story. During the Napoleonic Wars, 1803-1815, Britain was at war with France. The threat of French invasion and espionage was a significant concern for the British people. Coastal towns were particularly on edge, wary of any unusual occurrences or potential spies. According to the legend, a French ship was wrecked off the coast of Hartlepool. The sole survivor of the wreck was not a human, but a monkey, which was reportedly dressed in a military uniform. This detail contributed to the confusion and suspicion among the townspeople. The townsfolk of Hartlepool had never seen a monkey before, and combined with their fear of French spies, they were baffled by the animal. They captured the monkey, and believing it to be a French spy, held a trial. Despite the monkey's inability to speak or defend itself, the townspeople found it guilty of espionage. Consequently, they sentenced the monkey to death and hanged it on the beach. Although it is unlikely that this event ever actually occurred, the story has persisted for over two centuries. Residents of Hartlepool have embraced the nickname Monkey Hangers with a sense of humour and local pride. The tale has become a symbol of the town's character. In 2002, the story took on a new life when Stuart Drummond, who performed as Hangus the Monkey, the mascot for the local football team, Hartlepool United, ran for mayor. Drummond won the election, demonstrating the enduring appeal of the Monkey Hanger legend. The Hartlepool Monkey Hanger story is often seen as a commentary on ignorance and fear of the unknown. It highlights how misinformation and paranoia can lead to absurd and unjust outcomes. Yet, it also reflects the British sense of humour and the ability to transform a potentially embarrassing tale into a beloved part of local heritage. Today, the story of the Hartlepool Monkey Hangers is celebrated in various forms. The town features monkey imagery in its local culture including a statue of a monkey in Hartlepool Marina. The tale is told to visitors and remains a quirky and endearing aspect of Hartlepool's identity. While the veracity of the story is highly doubtful, its impact on Hartlepool's cultural landscape is undeniable, turning a peculiar piece of folklore into a cherished and defining legend of the town. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving it a like, and leaving a comment. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to join my Sea of Thieves and Streams, where we can embark on digital adventures together on the high seas. Until next time, fair winds 
and following seas, mateys.